Hi, I'm Elizabeth Crispalusi. I publish a blog called Tech for Luddites, providing tips and tricks for navigating our digital world. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an attractive and effective bio page on your WordPress blog or website. Okay, well, to uh, make this video go a little faster, I've already put together uh, a page with my bio on it. Uh, notice that I call it about me and not just about. I think that's a nice extra touch to give it a little uh, personal flavor. In the same way that when you start writing your text, try and remember to always use your own voice so it's you coming through the post or the page. Um, I always recommend that you include a photo that helps people uh, see who see the face behind the site. And I will say this, it's uh, if you're doing this for a business purpose, it's really worth the investment to get some professional headshots if you can afford them. Um, I also think it's a good idea uh, somewhere in the in the post to add um, some links to other sources of information about you. So for example, I've got uh, a link to my business website, to my LinkedIn profile, also where you can follow me on Twitter. And uh, so now if we go and look at this page, we can see what it's actually going to display like on the, on the site. There you go. Now one thing, by default when you set up WordPress, the pages also offer the ability to lead, leave a comment. And while that's normal for blog posts, a lot of people don't want people to comment on their static pages. So the way that you can change that when you go back to your, uh, to your dashboard and on the edit page screen, you'll see over here in the top right, there's a button for screen options. When you click that, you want to turn on, make sure that discussion has a check mark beside it. If it doesn't, you're not going to see the option to turn off comments. So then you can click screen options again to hide that. And you scroll down and now you see uh, under discussion, it says, do you want to allow comments? Do you want to allow uh, trackbacks on this page? So once you uncheck, then you're going to have to update the page to have it take. And then when I go back to the live site, uh, it's now got no comment box, which is what we wanted. So the next thing you do is after you've got this great page built, you want to make sure it's displayed somewhere prominently on the site. Now, again, by default, WordPress, when you first launch it, is going to build a menu like it does here that has every has the home page link and any page that you create. So that's easy, but doesn't always work for you because sometimes it will put links up there that you don't want. Sometimes it will won't put things up that you do want because they're not technically pages. And it also always orders them alphabetically, which may not be what you want as well, other than the home button. So what we want to do is instead of using the default menu that it provides, we want to go back into our dashboard and we want to go down to appearance and menus. And we want to create something called a custom menu. So over here, you'll just enter a menu name. Now you'll see at this point, I haven't actually added any, anything to my menu. So when I go back to the live site, the default one disappears. And then after you save the menu, you need to go over to theme locations and you need to tell it where to put this menu. So then I click save there. When I go about, back to the about me page on the live site, because we haven't actually added any pages to it, that menu disappears altogether, but we're going to fix that right now. So I come down to pages, I click it and I say add to menu. And when we scroll back up, we will uh, see about me here. We also want to keep that link back to the home page. And because the home page full of blog posts isn't technically a page, we need to add that as a separate link. So I'm going to put in the URL for this site, which is t4l-demo.com. And I'm going to call it home. And I'm going to add that to the menu. And now I can drag and drop in whatever order I want. I'll, and anytime I add a new page or any other new link, I can move them around the way I want. One thing I will say is you should open each of these 
and where it says title attribute, you should uh, repeat the name, uh, the label of the link. That's going to be when somebody mouses over the link and it will come up as a tooltip. So I'm going to save that menu. And now when I go back to my live page, the links are back. Even though they look exactly the same as they did before, it isn't because I have full customization of this menu now. Well, we covered a lot of information there, but it was worth it because now you've got all the tools you need to create a great bio on your WordPress site.